Hey everyone, I'm Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? I really appreciate it. I just want to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas and a happy, happy new year and a sober and safe and healthy year to come in 2022, okay? Keep watching my channel, keep participating in your sobriety and all your dreams will come true most definitely. They really will. They did for me anyways. Life ain't perfect but it's sure a hell of a lot better than it ever was. I just wanna start off this video by talking about, I'm not a therapist, an addiction counselor, or an expert on alcoholism. On my channel, I talk about my experiences and things that I can relate to in my own sobriety. That's basically what it is. I'm not an expert on anything when it comes to addiction, but I sure know that staying sober, and when you're an alcoholic or suffering from the disease of alcoholism, if you get the chance for recovery, your life can change unbelievable. You can do a 180 and life can be great and all your dreams can come true. I do know that for sure, okay? So what I wanna talk about today in this video is what was my life like last six months to eight months of me stopping drinking? Eh, it was pretty dismal. It sure isn't a holiday theme, this video. It was pretty dismal. So what I wanna start off with is my health. What was my health like in the last six months of my drinking? Well, it was terrible. My weight was 150 pounds. If you see me now, I'm about 220, 210. I never ate. All I ate was barley sandwiches and I never ate properly, so my weight loss was great. All I did was eat and when I ate, I felt sick and a lot of times I was thrown up. I had a lot of gastro and a lot of bowel problems also when it came to my last months of my alcoholism. A thing that stood out for me when I drank was my heart. Every time I withdrew, I had severe, severe heart palpitations. I ran to the Queensway Carlton Hospital here a number of times during the week here. They got to know me sort of thing here in Ottawa at the hospital because I always thought I was have a heart attack because my top my heart would just race. It would race all the time and it would scare the living hell out of me. So alcoholism at the end was affecting my health. Another thing I used to get a lot of at the, you know, the last two or three months of my drinking, I was drinking daily and I was drinking pretty heavy and I was getting blackouts, sometimes brownouts. I was at the bar and things would fade in and out. I kind of sensed it, but I didn't really realize what was going on. I remember a number of times, you know, I'd be walking down the street or in a local restaurant People walk up to me, oh, Terry, it was nice to see you at the bar last night. And I'd be like, who the hell are you? Then I'd say, was everything all right? Yeah, oh yeah, Terry, you were fine. I couldn't remember who they were. I couldn't remember who I was talking to at the bar. And I would come home some nights and wonder who drove me home. My car would be crooked in the parking lot, my driveway, and I'd be like, who the hell drove my car? How did I get home last night? Driving in a blackout. And let me tell you, that's really, really scary. So I was experiencing blackouts like crazy towards the end. That only happened the last few months of my drinking. Another thing is, is that I was paranoid. My ex who I was dating at that time was a cop caller and I always thought the cops were after me. You know, I'd call her when I was drunk in those blackouts and I always thought she was calling the cops on me and my life was kind of weird and I always thought that I was getting you know, the cops were after me, or I was gonna be in trouble the next day, just walking down the street. So I was starting to have these paranoia reactions. You know, I wouldn't go out of my house. I wouldn't go out of my room, you know, sort of thing. It was, it was really crazy. It really was, and it's, you know, it's harder to just, it's easier to describe than it was to live because I was severely paranoid about things. My relationships with people, places, and things were non-existent. At the end of my drinking, I was literally by myself drinking my booze in my room at that time. No one wanted anything to do with me. I was just too crazy when I drank and I was just drinking too much for people around me. Like I out drank my friends, say the least. Another thing that was what was on what was going on with me is that I was unemployable. I couldn't hold a job. I would work for maybe a week or two, get enough money, go out drinking, or just be mad at work and say the hell with it. I'm not, you know, gonna put up with your bullshit at work. I'm just gonna quit my job. And I don't know what it was, but I couldn't handle stress at all. I couldn't handle stress. 
And one of the biggest things that was really troubling at the end of my drinking was my anger. I had total issues with anger. I would fly off at, a, at any little thing. I would react to any little thing. My anger problem was out of control. I thought I was gonna hurt somebody. I thought I could hurt myself. The anger, the rage, all that kind of stuff. And when I was by myself, I felt another thing I was feeling was severe uh, sadness, feeling like a victim, severe loneliness, severe depression. Alcoholism, what started off to be a few friendly drinks when I was 13 years old when I started to drink, turned out to destroy my life. And it came up, it just came to bite me in the ass. And at the end, it brought me to my knees. But the one thing I always did, and I always found time to do, even the things that I described to you right now, is that I always had time to have a drink. And I was always drinking even when my life was falling apart. And I always managed to get the drink. If I never stopped drinking, I would end up in jail or dead by now. I wouldn't have had the life I had. My life at the last six months or eight months of my drinking was horrible. It was horrible. The list can go on and on and on and on. I could not live without alcohol. Alcohol crept into every nook and cranny of my life. It took over my life. And it's an awful way to live, but it's really hard to get out of it and do something about it. It's really hard. So if you can relate to any part of this video, why don't you reach out, send me a message or reach out to somebody in your area and get some help for your drinking. Alcoholism is a disease. It's progressive and it will take you to your knees or even your grave. Believe it or not, I've seen a lot of people get wiped out in their lives by alcohol addiction, either through a car crash or suicide, whatever it is. My God, this is not a Christmas theme video. But anyways, that's just the way it is. That's what's on my mind today when I wanted to share with you about my drinking problem. I just want to finish off by saying is that alcoholism is curable, not curable, but you can arrest it and you can put it aside and you can get help for it. You are not alone. Reach out to somebody in your local area, AA, Smart Recovery, your doctor, your spouse, a good friend. You are not alone and you're not hopeless. I was an alcoholic of the hopeless variety and I reached out and I said, God damn it, I'm gonna do something about my life. I'm gonna change myself. This alcohol is not gonna bring me down anymore. I need to get some help and that's what I did. One day at a time, I'm feeling a lot better. One day at a time, I'm able to help people. One day at a time, I can celebrate a great holidays such as Christmas and rebuild my life. It takes time, it takes effort, but it's not impossible. It's not impossible, okay? I'm, my name is Terry G, that's the end of the video. My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you can take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? Like, can you take another second and hit that like button, okay? Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next week. Stay tuned for another great video. And if you have any questions or anything you'd like me to talk about, just leave it in the comments below and I'm sure to get to it, okay? Like I said, stay safe, stay sober. We're all in this together one day at a time and I'll see you next week. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Thank you.